Okay, hi and welcome to my tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple session in Code Igniter. And something we have to know is create a session is so simple in Code Igniter because the Code Igniter have a function to create a session so easy. Okay? Uh first uh I have to uh, save a session from this username and then simply I can add uh, this session set user data and this is a key and then after you set the session you can call the key and the value is username and how to store this value of the session is just simply you can add the echo this session uh, user data and username just this is the form okay and now I have to back to my browser and refresh this and then add my data and now Oh, I have an error because I don't set the session from the autoload file. And simply you can add the session in your config. And now your autoload. And then add the session. Okay. And after that I have to reload this continue this is my session value okay and now I have to uh, show this session in my new view okay just simply you can add the file file and I will name it with after login okay and I will add the container fruit. This is a class from the bootstrap. And now I will add h3 for heading 3. And hello. And now I have to show this in my home controller. And then I have to uh show this view with this function okay after login and because i have to store uh data from the session i have to add my master function with data array okay and then i will add this data array here now I will add the data and this is would be a value of the session and just simply you back to your login and now I will cut this and then here oh. session and user data username okay and I will add my master view with home this is a directory and this is a file name without the extension and now I will add the data here okay and now I have to back to my Inform. Oh, it's not good. Ah, I have to redirect this to home and after login. Okay, this is a function from the home controller. Okay, I have to reload this with uh, my data. And here we go. 
and simply after you have a session data here you can store this with echo and username it's simply you can add this and we back to browser refresh and this is